I was reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. It's going to be a Randy read for the very last few days of August. Um, yeah, it's going to be a. It's called a, just a ten card relationship reading, basically. Um, so <clears throat> we'll begin. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, if you resonate, drop me a comment down below, like and share this video, and subscribe. And yeah. Don't cost you nothing to subscribe either, it's free. It helps my channel right, right with jumping, so I'm with you. So the Scorpio. We'll be dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius, or we could have both in the chart. Right, the Scorpio, the Sun, Moon, Rising. <clears throat> right, Scorpio, I'll lay the cards out and we begin. Right, Scorpio, okay. it's going to be a family situation because they had you up at night times quite a lot, like over and over, you know, night times worrying, stressing, anxiety. Uh, yeah, because you're in the hangman, you're in that like, situation but you don't know how to move forward to give yourself in luck, you know. Maybe you find out about a situation about somebody being pregnant, somebody in the late stages of pregnancy. Uh, maybe somebody came in with an apology, but you you kind of noticed all the fish swimming around in the sea. In the sea. Uh, in, in the choppy river, maybe they come forth to offer you a new beginning or stability, and maybe that was because, um, yeah, they kind of where they were, they were looking at you know, they're listening to their intuition a while. So, uh, let's begin. So, the first question is, yeah, uh, past history of this relationship that you're thinking about right now. You've got a judgment card, that's your card, Scorpio. So, this, there was judgment passed on the situation. So, maybe somebody was either somebody cheated or somebody was just, you know, not not fair in the relationship or the judgment was caused. So, judgment could have been, you know, in your favour or the other person's favour. Let's have a look. You're going to My career wants to look at one of these. <laughs> Just one card for the past relationship with Scorpio. Yeah, you could need to heal yourself a bit first. Uh, are you seeing the situation accurately? Do you need to let it go? Either you need to let it go as it was, or you need to let it go completely. Um, Scorpio, you know the truth. Of your situation, um, yeah, you could have a Taurus involved. Some of you could be doing sex well to try and get this relationship back together. Um, yeah, somebody could have gone towards somebody younger than you, um, as well as Bobby or I. So, well, I'm not alright, but yeah, <laughs> let's clarify. So, why are they Scorpio in their person advised to walk away from this situation? Yeah, because the Wheel of Fortune has happened. Somebody will be watching the whole situation, Scorpio. So, maybe you cheated on this person, this person, maybe you both cheated on each other. But yeah, you could have both been watching in the situation, but somebody knew everything there was to know, even if the other didn't know about it. So, it could have been a Leo involved in this cheating. Could have been with a Leo, but yeah, I've, I feel like this Leo and all their little cops all got involved and you tried to sneak away, maybe. So this person could have their friends involved, their, even their own children involved, but yeah, they all seem to join in and say their piece. Yeah, somebody could have also been like waiting for something to come in, somebody could have been waiting for the other to come in, like it's been 
wait for it, another person to come in, wait for the ship to come in. Yeah. And they, this could have been a family situation, you could have lived together and, and been a family, but somebody walked away, Scorpio, was that you? Um, so the next question is, uh, your past experience in this relationship, uh, and so Scorpio, you had choices, got a strange feeling you went towards making choices, or at least one of them. And then you realise that actually the person that you were with is probably the person you didn't think you were as in love with the other person as what you are in love with this person. Your family could have been involved. This person's mother, this person's wife could have children with this person. You know, you need to stay focused in this situation. Something about your eyes. There'll be somebody around you or around your person. You'll notice they've got their, their eyes are different. There's something about their eyes. <laughs> yeah, somebody could have gambling issues and somebody could be trying to take some money. Somebody could definitely have you in a fair price situation. This person will low key hate from you. There could be a Virgo involved. Scorpio. You could be involved with a Virgo, your person can be involved with a Virgo. Somebody could be sitting outside your house watching, waiting. Have a look outside your house, see if you see footprints or, or fragments or something. Yeah, you could have cameras in your home as well. Well, anyway. So, let's clarify this. So, why is Scorpio's advice to... Um, why is Scorpio in the past have choices? Who is Scorpio's choices? Yeah. Could have been passionate, yes, this is somebody... Um, could have been a, like a young girl or something, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. You could have just been somebody who wasn't, you know, a bit of a player in the day, didn't really want to settle down with any one person. And maybe you moved your way to something you thought was going to be something better. Maybe you had a new beginning and you jumped on a cliff. Or maybe you were de dealing with a very playful Aries because the full card could be like a, a young Aries. Okay, so your person. Okay, so their view on this relationship in the past is a very different to yours. They thought they'd be in it for the long haul. They thought that you and them would be together forever. Ten of Pentacles, that's family situation. And there's people talking about this situation as well. Somebody, yeah, needed to retreat to um, nature. And somebody needed to purify themselves. So were you with somebody who was, who was controlling, who was manipulative and in other ways, and that made you go and look at your choices. Let's have a look. Why does this person need to purify themselves? Maybe they controlled you to stay in a, in a relationship that was toxic. Yeah, somebody could consider you to be like, uh, or consider themselves to be an earth angel. Yeah, they're not an earth angel, they're not sure they've got fifth straight away. Yeah, this person. Person could have tried to steal of you or other people. There could be a big loss around this situation. Uh, the first doesn't have to just be money or an item. It can be, it can be time. It can be love. Yeah, it could be a Sagittarius involved, but it could be a big fail in this situation. Uh, this person knows that now. Yeah, they they got to keep a lot of this in the low. So the way they treated you, how they spoke to you. What they did to you, they didn't want other people to know. Maybe this person was like somebody who likes their reputation to stay as it is. Yeah, they wanted you to open your heart up to them again and take charge of this situation. Maybe, uh, yeah, take charge of the situation, focus upon your strengths. Or well, this is what this person did, they wanted you to be their teacher and to uh, clear your energy shield and to listen to them, and to be persistent with them. But I don't think you did that, Scorpio. I feel like you moved on, you moved away from this person, and then this person decided to turn. So what did this person do to Scorpio? Oh, it's a long story. I'm back. 
Yeah. Okay. So this person could be an Aries Leo or Sag. No moon, my Leo. Can't be, can be an Aries Leo or Sag. This person has just been blown about in the wind by you, or so they felt. Yeah. They may have used their intuition and walked away from this situation. Uh, and they may have took the wrong ball of emotion with them. Yeah, this person felt like there was a lot of balance needed in this situation. And maybe they went off to go towards uh, a single father with four kids. Yeah, they got in their car and they drove off. Scorpio, it could have been a cancer. And they went off to go and try and find or to have a new beginning in love. With the eight couplet. And also a new beginning with passion. So that's one night stands in this thing. Yeah, because they were feeling very single at this time. After the ending they had with you, they, they fought with their soulmate. So they listened to their intuition, looked what they accumulated, and decided they, they're going to be a player too. So there's a lot of illusions and lies that have been built around this situation. They decided to quickly heal themselves, probably in a witchy manner. And that was their justice in the situation. And off they went, and they're probably doing, sleeping, being with who they want to be with. And then they could have met a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And then they had a new beginning with stability, so they were thinking. Yeah, because they thought this person had money and they were abundant and they were going to be able to do things and look after them in ways that you couldn't have done, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. But... The problem was they ended up finding out that they actually were put back in the same situation because this person was there using them for the same things that they were using the other person for. So there was an ending cause to the situation, but we're going to go deeper now, Tony. So the next card is um, your, your current experience of this relationship. And you're being very cold in this relationship at the moment. You're only speaking to this person when you're spoken to. And you're only loving on this person if they're coming anywhere near you like that. Otherwise, you've got your arms crossed and you're and you're showing that you're uh, yeah you're not playing in this. Your sword is up, so you're ready to fight and and you're ready to go. <laughs> yeah, Scorpio. So you want positive change in this situation as well. You're fed up with the way things were and the way this person controls. Yeah. And you're trying to find blessings in the situation you're currently in. You could know there's a bit of energy healing going on, a bit of magic going on, power of joy as well. I feel like you're trying to find, and magic doesn't have to be like magic spells, it can be thought, can be powerful, good, bad, or indifferent, yeah. There's a lot of gossip around the situation, then you know that, that um, Scorpio. A Libra could be involved and in your gossip, maybe, and a Cancer is involved. Somebody could be a light worker, and somebody could need, you could need to move on. You could need to go towards something new, what you're already doing, what you walked off to. Yeah, because there's dark magic in them, could be a Pisces doing this as well. So both your other water signs are up to stuff here, okay. So your person, their um, current experience in this relationship is... Maybe they feel like you're listening to a Leo, or you've gone towards a Leo, but that's what they're feeling. Maybe they're expecting a child from this person, because there's a red flag and there's a child in this card. Maybe they've only just got pregnant. Maybe they got pregnant on the 19th of July, I was thinking. Maybe they, yeah. And, yeah. Maybe this baby's due on the 19th of July. I don't even know if that's possible. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. But yeah, there's a big red flag around this child, and it's to do with the sun. So this person could be involved with a Leo, they could have a Leo in their child, but it doesn't have to be a Leo. They could have gone towards this person to find some freedom. This person could, could have been a father, a husband, a brother, a son, or someone they knew. Um, and yeah, yoga. Somebody could need to meditate. Somebody's got trust issues as well. Maybe after your relationship with them, they've got trust issues, but they need to drink more water. Because they're really dehydrated. Maybe they're drinking too much, yeah. And they need to find some peace in their life because they're unbalanced. Okay. 
and then got a 38 card that says to me that probably is a pregnant or early situation let's have a quick look yeah this person could be watching your in your windows at night time you just saw that i told you to check for cigarettes didn't i okay this person is talking a lot of shit about you behind your back and leaving you for another so they're going towards another person right now messaging you there's going to be a message coming you don't want to hear as well scorpio maybe from this person okay the overall energy and they're always lying this person is compulsive liar as well scorpio okay so the next one is um yeah the relationship is present you've got the aries card the king of wands card so someone's being very stubborn somebody could be you could still be sleeping with this person not all the time but occasionally it's that kind of energy um or you could be worried you could be fantasizing about this person this person could really like turn you off kind of thing yeah somebody could, could be coming in with peace offering offering a balance in career and home life you know um artistically threshing with the lies again prosperity is king solomon and follow your heart you both probably could be in love but i feel like somebody can be really quite like controlling as well keep getting in this relationship it's really controlling somebody likes to be the boss that area card likes to be the boss they like to control they like to yeah they like to be a nut could like the same sex relationship you could be in a same sex relationship you need to call them to speak this stuff over somebody could be coming to some money right now and somebody always likes to win in this situation you need to heal and love yourself and so does that person <coughs> So the next card I've got is, yeah, okay. So, yeah, the problem is, is you both got each other in a third party. You both got other people. You both moved on to all other people. Yeah. Uh, against the family situation. Somebody could be in the hangman at the moment. They've got piranhas all around their feet. And the relationship at the moment is in reverse. So you could, you're not, neither of you can move forward with this relationship. You're probably both struggling in the relationship as you're in. Okay. Right, Scorpio, so seven is going to be, um, what is the Aquarius current experience in the future in this relationship? You'd like to move forward to a high level of commitment with this person, uh, Scorpio, or you'd like to move forward in general in a high level of commitment. Maybe you feel like a spiritual connection, yeah, you can do that if you want to, uh, and go now. So if you want this person, you need to go towards this person, you need to speak to this person, communicate with this person. Yeah, this person could be with somebody who's married, they've definitely gone towards another man, so if it's a same-sex relationship, Scorpio and a female, this person's gone towards another man, that man could be a lawyer, have it in his chart, that man could go into the prostitute, he could love bomb this person, he could have Aquarius in his chart, he could have a spy up on your phone while you're watching this person, someone could be calling you in the very near future as well. So let's clarify this. Why has Scorpio got the Hierophant? Yeah, because of the Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is a lot of sneaky behaviour. If I feel your truth is out, this person's now doing kind of stuff behind your back. There's a lot of sneakiness going on. And I feel like you don't know. What's the sneakiness? Why have we got the Seven of Swords for Scorpio? What is Scorpio's person up to? Yeah, okay, so this person could come in, try and apologise to you, try and speak to you about a situation with a Leo, a Leo Aries or so, about a Seven of Cups, yeah, about how they had choices and how they made a decision over those choices because they were juggling and they know justice, they know balance has to be brought in a situation, could have been a Libra as well. But yeah, they wanted recognition and reward and victory. They are single, but they want a new beginning of you in love. Okay, in their future, they've got to walk away from something that Scorpio before they can even come towards you. There's something they're in at the moment that they've got to leave, they've got to deal with to come forward to you, if that's what they want to do. Yeah, to get further prosperity, they're, they're walking away from situations. They could be trying to manifest you or do magic on you to try and move forward. They're trying to capture all drama that's going on around in their life at the moment. 
because it's got a lot of um, a lot of stuff going on at the moment in her life. You know, they could have siblings hating on them as well. Could be a Capricorn. Yeah, uh, and they could have another woman involved as well. And they could actually be fucking with your friends as well. An Aries. Your person could be an Aries. Could be dealing. Did your person could be dealing with an Aries? Let's have a look. So why is this person? What are they walking away from? What is Scorpio's person? Yeah, they're feeling very guarded at this time. They probably don't want to talk to you about it. But yeah, they're walking away from maybe a younger fire sign or somebody who's very like passionate, but they're not very committal. They're only a page. So whoever they're with, isn't, they're not someone that's going to be getting married to the next week. Yeah, this person, they, they cover up their couple of love and they probably give it to Tony. They ignore the situation as well. This person constantly has endings in this life. Not your person, their person. Yeah, nine of wands, they're always feeling like they, they're guarded. They're always hanging on to that last thing. They like people to like cling on to them. They're needy. Yeah, six of swords. Your person needs to move away from this person because that's judgment. That's what they need to do. They need to move away from maybe a hermit, maybe a Virgo. There's a wheel of fortune to coming in and they're going to get stuck. They're going to get stuck there and then they're not going to move away because something's going to happen that's going to keep them there. Because that's the way it works. Okay, where was this relationship heading? To bed and this, this won't work, Scorpio, because there's too much. There's too much. This person's still with somebody and they're still, they, for some reason, your person can't just walk away from the situation. You know, you need to nurture yourself. You can do it. Um, and healing and health. Uh, oh, yeah. So this person could be talking behind your back then. Your family knows about the situation. Uh, this person's trying to leave their now person. This person loves you for real, but they're jealous as fuck. They could be dealing with a younger man. Okay, so what is Scorpio's person? Why are they both getting the future of the relationship? They should walk away. It wasn't walk away, what was it? Dropping a burden. Yeah, because somebody's got six of cups, past life relationship with you, yeah. And you both know it, you're both totally in line for the fact you might be not talking about it, but you're in line, you're both feeling like you spilled milk on a relationship that should have happened. And you're both spying on each other online. You both want to have a new beginning, but you're heartbroken. Could be an Aries you're dealing with, and Aries could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. That's the problem. Is your person dealing with another person? Yep, Five of Swords, keeping you in your head at night, thinking of the same thing over and over again. Yeah, it could be other versa. Uh, what your person said is maybe having one night stands with this person. Yeah, and then here you are, Cancer, not Cancer, uh, Scorpio, with the Queen of Cups. Uh, but you're in your head over the situation, you're not moving forward. I feel like you're with someone as well. Maybe you could be with Cancer, Pisces or Virgo as well. You could be dealing with a Leo as well there, Scorpio. I do feel like you're in a whole other situation. But I do feel like you, you would move out of that a lot quicker for some reason, I feel like. Uh, yeah, temperance could be needed in the situation. Yeah, it's like third party or maybe this situation. Nine of swords up at night time. You both could be up at night time. Just devil energy around the situation. Should have been ten of cups. But it ended up being nine of cups where he's got his cup out. He's like begging now. This person might come in begging for you, asking you for forgiveness. And then we've got the nine of swords. It's like clinging on energy. <coughs> Like holding on to a very dear life, yeah. You could need to meditate on the situation. It could be a twin flame situation. Someone needs to look at the other person's point of view, maybe write down your ideas. Somebody needs to come out of the closet as well. Uh, and somebody needs to work some magic. I feel like the magic could be being worked already. Okay, why have we got this dropping the burden? It's just going down the school here in that person. Yeah, seven of pentacles, looking at what you've accumulated, somebody's 
doesn't want to come out of work because I think I'll be refused. We could have a Leo in the situation. We could have a Leo in your situation, Scorpio. And yeah, somebody just sent me passionate messages. You and your part, this person could be sending messages to each other. And then for one, you're back getting back together, man. It's about working it out. But you both got other people. Seven of ones, yeah, you have to be guarded over the new beginning with stability. Because a uh, king of swords is a Libra Gemini and Aquarius, but that's somebody you've ready to fight. Yeah, somebody you brought down the town and that. And somebody could have been having twins when we saw the sun card earlier. Somebody could have been pregnant. Now we've got the sun card again, and somebody's got two children. And these, this, if there is just a pregnancy, somebody could just have two children. Uh, and then a baby coming as well. King of Wands, yeah, it could be an Aries that that's in that. And if you're a female and they're a female, what's that saying? I think we had this in the last reading, Scorpio. Yeah, this person could be a blessing in their day today, Empress. Of the pregnancy in here, and it's going to cause an ending. It could even cause an ending where that person is, with whose baby that is. Yeah, star card, Scorpio. Yeah, and then you've got coming out of the hangman, man, turning that around, you know, sorting that out, um, and moving forward. Anyway, Scorpio, no let's go. Uh, lots of love and light, and hopefully that helps you. All right, take care. Bye bye.